Hi everyone and welcome to another hack the box walkthrough video. In this video we will be checking out some cool amazing stuff. However, if you are new to hack the box, I recommend checking out my other videos on the basics of hacking. In this video we are going to do some recon and enumerate a remote machine called analytics by hack the box. And then we will be exploiting a known vulnerability of the metabase enterprise where authentication is not required for exploitation. Hopefully at this point, the first flag will be secured and we can move on to the last stage where we are going to exploit a vulnerable version of Ubuntu to escalate our privileges to root to find the final flag. Before we go to the video, I want to take a moment to shout out the Root Hack podcast. If you are someone interested in hacking, learning cybersecurity, or looking to break into IT, we got you covered. Definitely check out the podcast, which is available on all major podcast players. Simply search for Root Hack Podcast on Google and you can easily find the show. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's dive in. guys so first of all i'm going to make a directory in my downloads folder for analytics cool um next we are going to ping the target ip it's responsive and reachable Let's also quickly run um, nmap to see what are the open ports on this target IP. So SSH and HTTP both are open. So I'm going to go to my web browser and see if it gives any web interface. Okay, there's an error here, so I'm thinking I should go and update my host's file. Okay, target IP and the domain name. Save the settings. Refresh the page. Maybe we should get rid of this. Seems like getting rid of the secure connection prompts this website. Contains a couple of details which is not too useful for our next step. The interesting thing about the menu is that these are not additional um, web pages. So if you click on any of these things, it will just take you to that particular section on the, the main page. However, login takes you to a whole other domain. And this is not accessible yet. So let's update this too on our hosts file. Save the settings and get rid of the secure connection. Now let's see if it works. So we have been given with a metabase login page. Not many information is here to be honest. So what I'm thinking is maybe we should do a search and see if there are any known vulnerabilities for Metabase um, authentication. Let's go to this site right here. Okay, so the most recent CVE says there's a public exploit existing on this one. 
and it has been given a base score of 9.8 let's check that out it says metabase open source before this version and metabase enterprise before this version allow attackers to execute arbitrary commands on the server at the server's privilege level so yeah this vulnerability is definitely useful for us authentication is not required for exploitation cool let's see what else is in here metabase setup token rze metabase versions before this contain a flow where the secret setup token is accessible even after the setup process has been completed with this token a user is able to submit the setup functionality to create a new database all right cool sounds good um let's go back to this search and see what we can find something on github all right so after some research i found um, this repository that contains two files one is to check if any metabase instance is leaking setup token and we have been given a reverse shell to get reverse shell on the attacker controlled machine so let's go ahead and download this into our local machine I'm going to go to downloads and analytics git clone all right so we have the reverse shell and the other file let's take a look at the readme file and see what's in there the instructions are given here on how to use this we did this we can change the directory we can um, install some requirements and we can run this command as well okay so usage we have this command to execute which includes the remote host metabase server IP address including HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and port number if needed then we have to include the listener IP address and the listener port default is 4444 okay let's go ahead and execute this command but before we do that let's set up a listener on our local machine right here netcat on port 4444 cool right so python 3 then the reverse shell file remote host which should be this section including HTTP then we have to include um, local host I have to look for my IP address which is this then we have to include the local port number which is 4444 now the listener is running right here so execute this command to see if we are getting any prompt okay uh, it seems like we have to debug this file because there are some errors so let's do that right now in here there are a couple of changes to do in this line that says payload all right looks good save it exit 
now we are going to run this one more time and just keep an eye on the listener at, as well we have a bash prompt it says meta base let's check for id use id is set to 2000 group id is set to 2000 we can do list to check all the directories in the current directory including the hidden files and okay let's also check for environmental variables in here we can see the username and the password so we'll copy that into a text file and probably save it okay cool actually let's get rid of this user part and the password part nice so if you can remember when we did the nmap scan there were two ports open on this target ip one is http and the other one is ssh and now that we have a username and a password we can probably try to ssh into this target machine using this credentials that is given here so let's give that a try and our target ip is 10.10.11.2.0 all right, password, we can actually copy paste this. And um, we are in. So let's do a um, list command to see what is in here. Yeah, there we go. We have a user.txt file. This should be the first flag. If we do a cat. There are about 33 characters, which should be the, you know, first flag. Here comes the most critical and interesting part as well. We need to try and escalate our privileges to find um, the next flag, which is the root flag. So Metalytics is a normal user. We can try this command and see if there is anything that we can possibly get a hold of it's requesting for the password which is this gives an error sorry user metrics may not run sudo on local host so that's kind of a bummer but what we can do is let's find out what is uh, running here on the machine it's running ubuntu 22 point four point two so maybe we can look up for any known vulnerabilities on this particular ubuntu version okay i can see a reddit page about local privilege escalation on ubuntu version that we searched for so let's search for this cve and see if there's anything that we can find specifically look for maybe a github page all right so after a while looking for stuff i found this exploit on this github page so let's go ahead and download this i'm on my analytics folder Now what we can do is navigate to the folder that we downloaded. So the exploit file is here and we can simply set up a HTTP server and through SSH we can try to download this exploit into that remote server and, and try to escalate our privileges there. So let's give it a try. 
simple Python 3 HTTP server. On port 80. Cool. So we'll go here now. We'll try to make a folder in the temporary directory called um, exploit and let's navigate to that folder now let's try to download the exploit from our local machine into here Okay, local machine IP should be right here. And the file name was exploit.sh. Okay, hopefully, fingers crossed. And there we go. The exploit.sh is now downloaded here. Now we have to make this file executable, so let's do that executable exploit.sh now let's run the exploit it says you should be root now type exit to finish and leave the house cleaned to confirm this we can do who am I okay I'm root that's awesome what do we have here Okay, same stuff, sorry. We'll change the directory to root. And there we have it, guys. root.txt. Thirty-three characters and there we go. That's how you root this machine called Analytics on Hack the Box. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned from the recon stage to enumerating the machine to finding the first user flag to then escalating privileges to find the root flag. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe and also drop a comment. I would love to know your thoughts and I do read every single comment and these things will definitely help the channel grow. I'll catch you guys in another future video. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Peace.